Right guys, I'm going to show you an easy way how to actually sow carrot seeds directly into the ground. I've seen this little tip, so I thought I'd pass it on. So I'm going to go to be trustworthy. This little box, and the carrots out. We'll pull that to the side, actually I'll leave it there for a minute. Only it is container with some water in. Get the carrots that you want to do. Now I'm going to put in Autumn King soup. Yeah. 9 to 22, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the whole packet in. So what I'm going to do is put all the cat seeds into a little bit of water. A little bit of a shake. I'm going to put a lid on it, make sure it doesn't get knocked over. And put it somewhere where it's going to keep it safe. I've got a little bit of a fridge over here. So all I'm going to do is put that on top of the empty cat box. All I'm going to now is leave that for two to three days until the carrots start to sprout. And what we're doing is, I'll show you the next stage what we need to do. Two days later. Right guys, those seeds I've been soaking for a fair few days now to um, have other things to do. They're actually starting to sprout in the container. So, what I need to do now is, small pan. Put on your cooker, gas or electric, wherever it is. You need to get a cup of water. So one cup of water, normal corn flour, corn starch, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. And two, heat tablespoons. Now I've only got half a cup of water because we need to mix it so that it's not lumpy. Make sure there's no lumps or clumps at the bottom. So I'm going to now top this up with water. This has to be cold water by the way. So I need to do that is put it in. Now depending on how much area you're going to be sowing these carrots in, you will have to either increase or decrease the amount. But normally it's one cup of water to two heat teaspoons or uh, tablespoons of corn flour. We need to do this now is you need to actually put on a low heat and actually bring it not to a bubble but to a slight simmer. What actually happened then it would actually thicken and keep on stirring. What the actual heat then actually does it actually activates the corn flour just like you do when you do when you cook it. It's just this is water. So let me get this to like a paste and I'll come back to you in a minute. Now it doesn't take long to actually do this to be honest. So what you look for now is something that's really, really thick. It actually looks like wallpaper paste. So what we need to do now is we need to let that cool down. You don't put your seeds in there at the moment. It will just kill them. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off the heat. Right, now that you'll be able to see this. We have to look very, very close. You can see some of the seeds are now starting to grow, but especially on this edge. They are not cracks in the pots. They are actually the seeds germinating. So it's pretty good that you can actually see how they germinate and how they actually chop the roots down. Normally you won't see all this look because of the soil. Well, there you go. So we're still waiting for this liquid to cool down. So we'll come back in a bit. Right, so next thing you need is 
a zip bag or a bag. So what we need to do is we need to now put the contents of this, which you can see now is very, very thick. So we need to put the contents of this into this. So let's be back in a minute. As you can see now, it's all in there. Looks a bit of a mess, but it doesn't really matter how it looks as long as it actually does the job what it's trying to aim for. So what I'm doing is rolling the bag up. Now what I've done is I've actually drained some of the water out of this pot. But look at this. It's starting to grow. So what I need to do now is very, very carefully because some of these now have got little roots on them. You just pour that into there with all the contents. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to roll this back up. And this is why I prefer using the zip size. Because it's sealed. So I can leave that now. Just leave it on the side. It's not going to physically spill. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to try and mix this together. Try and be as careful as you can. And this is why I do like the zip side ones. Right, as you can see now, the seeds are pretty spaced out. So I'm going to leave this for Samian. I'm going to prepare my bed where I took the onions out of. And then what I'll do is, we'll show you what we're actually going to do with this. Now what I'm going to do is prep this bed ready for the carrots. Just gonna get a bit of blood fishing bone. And the little box to put it in instead of lugging the twenty five kilo around. <coughs> Let's just straighten this up a little bit. This bed has been dry. It's probably like everybody else's because of the hot weather. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to give it a bit of a soak. Since you're on this channel, to put the seed into. What I'll do, I'll do two rows of carrots.
There you go. Two channels. All done now is cut the end off. Made it too big. This may be a little bit um, tricky now. All I wonder is. Just run it along. Should have made this whole room a bit smaller, but it doesn't matter. You get the general idea. All I need to do now is just put it in. I'll do a big block here with that mind. Big blob here, but this is where it's set a little bit because. I think once you've done this, you should do it outside straight away. <coughs> now the good thing about the corn flour is, what I actually do now is, it keeps the soil damp and the seeds damp. Now we're in the middle of a heat wave in the UK. It's going to get hotter all the weekend. So once again, I'm going to get these soaking and keep soaking them every single morning, afternoon and evening until they grow. Cabbage white bus flung, trying to light things. Right, quick tip on how to sow carrot seeds without doing too much thinning. Right, there you go, folks. Quick and easy way to sow carrots or any small seed that may reduce the amount of thinning you need to do. Thanks for watching the channel. Like and subscribe. See you again soon.